What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate from Black Mixture and today I wanna to take you through Project Odyssey, the movie trailer, so let's dive right in. So I really enjoyed working on this short film trailer because not only is it freaking awesome to put myself in just about any scene, but it also marks a pretty huge shift in giving tools to creatives in ways that have never been possible before. So I'm gonna take you into our process so you can see how this all came together. And a huge component of this that I really wanted to stress is that everything that you see in the trailer is generated 100% with AI. I know a lot of people may have known me for doing After Effects tutorials, so there's no After Effects compositing. And instead, we wanted to really push these tools to their limits and see what people can make without having any of the technical background, really just removing that barrier between idea and final result. A huge portion of this actually involved creating a bunch of different scenes and for creating most of the scenes we used Haluo's AI Minimax to allow us to generate consistent character videos which I gotta say the results are pretty impressive. You can see me right now here in a bunch of different scenes and it was really just a matter of actually having a great photo and having a great prompt and then being able to imagine what you'd really want your character to do. So for example, some of these scenes you can see I'm a soldier or I'm inside of these liminal spaces. And the main idea behind Project Odyssey, the movie trailer, is that there is a combat veteran soldier who undergoes a mysterious accident. And along the way, he starts to have these surreal hallucinations, essentially lived in experiences. And as the story progresses, he ends up discovering that these memories were things that have been implanted in him. And he's not even a combat soldier to begin with. So there's a whole lot of sci-fi, a whole lot of surrealism. And you can almost think of it like a combination of merging together maybe ideas from Inception, Cloud Atlas, Spirited Away, and one of my favorite all-time TV series, Westworld as well. So we have this character in a bunch of these different scenes and the story transcends time and space to where this character really is taken through the entire gamut from present day to way back in the past and then all the way to the future as well. So the final scenes we actually have it where the character is in a cybernetic suit and is a robot, which again, this is pretty crazy, right? Like I'm looking at myself and wow, this, this is amazing. So in order to get these generations to look really awesome and to actually have a coherent idea, one thing that we specifically did prior to this tool coming out was train Alora based on my face and my wife's face. So we can start to create these storyboarded scenes to allow us to have our characters in various scenarios and then we could write out the script and make something that's actually cohesive. Now to train Alora, we use Civit AI because it's one of the easiest for creating a character Laura. There's an easy way and a hard way, and I'm super thankful that Civit AI made it possible to do LoRa training super easily. And then when it came to generating those actual images, it did help to have run pods so we can initiate this on the cloud and benefit from using a storage drive with ComfyUI already installed. And then it was just a matter of uploading our LoRa and generating some of those images. Now we did use our custom workflows in order to make this possible. And a huge portion of this was generated first as a storyboarding phase. And then we would use those images to actually drive how we wanted those scenes to be constructed. Another thing that you can probably tell is that my voice is not the best for my character in this movie scene. I enjoy doing a bunch of silly voices at home, but when I started to pop them in, it just did not have that professional quality that I wanted. So it was really cool to be able to hop into Eleven Labs and we used a number of their features from being able to not only generate from their actual voice library, but a huge portion of this was doing the text to speech and using their voice designer, which allowed us to create any sort of character. So a lot of those army characters where they say, go, 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 we must secure the sector. You know, it doesn't sound as convincing for me, but when it comes from one of those generated voices, it was just the chef's kiss in being able to create this. Another thing that we also used was their feature of creating sound effects. So a lot of those explosions, the tsunami hitting the city, and a lot of those like really awesome sound effects came from just typing in whatever we wanted. So you can even see here, it says battlefield lasers and explosions. And it was as simple as just hitting generate. And within a few seconds, we were able to pull in together a bunch of cohesive sound effects, which you guys can probably hear in that background. And then the final piece to the puzzle was having that background music and again, this was all generated with AI. So we used Suno to generate a really awesome 
background cinematics, mysterious, eerie, dreamscape inspired sound. And I gotta say, one of the things I'm very impressed was that this was a zero shot result. I was able to type in a prompt and the very first result that it gave me was exactly what you guys are hearing for that trailer. Yeah, all those little piano details, incredible. I loved working on this project because it was a huge moment in creativity. And I think it's really gonna be putting the power back into creatives, allowing them to strip away a lot of the barriers from either having funding for a project or having to go on certain locations to shoot and having to hire actors and voice actors and a lot of things that really we were able to scrap entirely and we could just really go from idea to finished product thanks to the awesome AI creative tools that are available. Anyways, I wanna give a huge shout out to Project Odyssey for putting this all together, really pushing the community forward when it comes to creativity, and also for having some awesome sponsors that allowed us to use their tools to be able to bring our visions to life. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy Project Odyssey, the movie trailer, and until next time, all right, peace. I've been having these dreams lately. Have you ever had a dream that felt so real, even though everything was telling you it's not? Look, you're not going to be the same after your accident. You may start to feel not yourself. I know this is tough news, but I'm sorry there's nothing else we can do. And from the fire, a new kind of hero was born. One that would be willing to do whatever it takes. Are you who has been prophesized? I know it's not just in my head. I can feel that this is real. What's happening to me? The subject is showing signs of defection. We must put an end to these irregularities. I keep washing up on the same shore. He was your responsibility, and yet you let this happen. Do you want to discover the truth? Once and for all. You need to find a way to stop him. If he finds out where those memories really came from, we'll no longer have control of him. Our lives seem connected to something much greater than our experiences. Maybe this whole thing is just one big dream. Look, I don't know how many times we'll have to go over this with you. When are you finally going to accept reality? Every time I think back, I can't seem to figure out when this all started. But then again, can anybody really remember the beginning of anything? I promise I'll do whatever it takes to see you again. Even if that means reliving a thousand lives, just for a moment more with you. I'm sure in time we'll see each other again. Just wait for me. <laughs>